The anatomy of a water heater is pretty straightforward. Whether you have gas or electric, they operate simply by capturing a certain amount of water, 40 gallons, 50 gallons, 80 gallons. Any sort of uh, water heater that uses a tank will have a capacity somewhere in that range. The water comes in through the inlet. On the blue is the cold side. It drops through a dip tube down to the bottom, where in the case of an electric water heater, the lower element is the first to hit the water. As the water heats up and it's available for this output, the water's, hot water simply goes back out the hot and is made available to the rest of the house. Now, electric water heaters have thermostats that are constantly monitoring the temperature of the, in, of the interior tank that are laid right up against them to do that. And they will turn on or off their individual elements as necessary. Um, in a gas setting, what you've got is a, a temperature reader that inserts into the tank and essentially has the water swirling around it. And as it determines the water needs to be heated up, it kicks on the gas burner valve, introduces gas to a pilot light, and keeps it hot that way. Um, but the basic anatomy of them is the same. They all have TPR valves, temperature pressure relief valves, for the sake of safety. And um, they can be uh, dramatically heavy. Even once they're drained as far down as possible, after years and years, they can build up sediment if they haven't been flushed regularly. And a uh, normal water, empty water heater is fairly heavy. So put some sediment in it or leave the water in it and it really can become difficult to manage and uh, for safety's sake you have to make sure you do your best to be careful with them at that point. Uh, otherwise the only other aspect of a water heater is they do have a drain valve located down low on the water heater that allows you to hook up a garden hose and you can get them, get them emptied. Sometimes some sediment will build up there and it takes a little patience. It can actually take 45 minutes to an hour for a 50 gallon water heater to empty out without the assistance of, uh, of any sort of other techniques. So just by opening that, it can take a little while. But that's the basics of a water heater. And um, now you've got a little more knowledge to deal with them on a regular basis.